Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashani and whether you're celebrating Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, this year it falls on a Friday. So I wanted to show you a really quick and easy tutorial of how you can go from desk to date. First thing I'm going to do is just get all of my hair out of my face and prep my skin with the Rodale Vitamin C Glow Tonic. Vitamin C is a great ingredient to incorporate into your skincare if you're looking for brighter and smoother skin. Onto moisturiser, I'm going to work in the Dior Hydro Life Sorbet Cream. This is a gel formulation which feels really refreshing and sinks into the skin really easily. So next, moving on to priming, I'm using the Pasali Skin Tune Blur. So I personally don't prime every single day. It just depends if firstly I have the time in the morning and can be bothered. And secondly, if it's maybe a special occasion or I want my makeup to last a lot longer than it usually does, then I'd go ahead and prime. So as I prep the rest of my face, I also want to prep my lips because I will be wearing lipstick and I'm using the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. For this look, I want to look extra glowy, so I'm going to mix some of my Nars Sheer Glow in Barcelona with the Marc Jacobs Dewdrops in Tantalize. If you do plan to follow this step and mix two base shades together, my biggest tip would be to mix enough product the first time. I always end up having slightly less and then having to remix for the second time and I can never get the colour the same as I did the first time which is really annoying. Um, so I definitely recommend spending a bit of time just estimating a bit better than I do. To work my foundation in, I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm sure you don't need me to say it but it's such an amazing tool to give you a flawless finish. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm using this mainly for the purpose of brightening under my eyes, on my nose and forehead and chin. I'm going in with my Beauty Blender again just to blend out that concealer and I'm alternating between the foundation end and the tip of the Beauty Blender just to give a transition between the areas I have concealed and haven't concealed. Moving on to contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Truffle and as you can see it's just so easy to draw on your face and then just blend it out. I have a really round face so I like contouring to add a bit of angularity to my features. So moving on to brows, I have really bushy hairy brows so I like brushing them first so I can see a clear shape before I start shaping them. I haven't done my eyebrows in a while so this definer is really handy for making it look a lot neater than it actually is. I'm just tracing the outside of the brow to give it more shape and fill out any patches. Now using the brow whiz which has a finer point I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my brows. To set my base I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder in Classic Beige. I love this powder because it doesn't look too cakey and my skin looks so glowy still underneath. To add colour back into my skin I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Bronzer. I'm going to concentrate the bronzer on the areas I contoured so on the cheekbones and the forehead. I'm keeping my eye makeup really simple and easy so I'm going ahead and using the bronzer on my eyelids too. I'm going to pack the colour on with a dense shadow brush and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. I love using my bronzer as a shadow because it makes me look put together without much effort. In the morning it's really unlikely that I'll be able to have the time to do a full on eye makeup look so this is the perfect solution. I'm going to go ahead and line my lashes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Liner. This is a really easy liner to use because it's got such a fine point. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous when I was filming this because I've never lined my lashes on camera before. Now
Now that my lashes are lined, I'm gonna put on about 100 coats of mascara. I just keep going until they look voluminous and long. So although this is a work look, I still wanted to put on some highlighter but I'm going for a more subtle one and using the Zoeva Light Drops. I love the fact that you can build it up or sheer it out depending on the look you're going for. To finish off this look, I'm going to stick on some lipstick. This is actually a new one that I'm trying out and it's the Powder Puff by NYX. And I quite like it, it's a bit lighter than I'd usually go for, but I think it looks pretty nice. For my hair, I actually curled it the night before and these curls have dropped, so I'm just going to put a middle parting and tie a low pony so I can keep my curls intact for the evening. Once I've tied my hair back, I'm going to pull out a few strands from the front to soften up the look. To make sure all my hard work stays intact, I'm going to give myself a spritz of the Urban Decay All Nighter. So there you have it, this is my desk look and I wanted to do as much as possible in the morning so I have to take as little as possible to work with me. So to change it up from desk to day, I'm going to put on a super shimmery highlighter from Fenty Beauty in the colour Hustler Baby. Using the more subtler shade Mean Money, I'm going to put a tiny bit of highlighter down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. Moving back to the shimmery highlighter and using a pencil brush, I'm going to place some of the highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to do the same on my brow bones too. To really change up the look and in classic valentine spirit I'm going to put a bold bright red lipstick but first I'm going to line my lips. For my lipstick I'm using the NARS Power Matte in Star Woman and I'm completely obsessed with this formulation. It's just so pigmented and lasts forever on your lips. Not only in a red colour but in all the colours I've tried so far. The last makeup -y thing I'm going to do is stick on some falsies. I'm using the Eyelore Pro Magnetic Lashes and as you can see they're just so easy to stick on. They do take some practice but it's ideal for a situation where you are doing desk today and you don't want to faff around with glue. The last thing I'm going to do is sort out my hair. I've just let it down from its pony and I'm going to play around with the parting. I feel like that, like surprisingly, is such an easy thing to do and makes such a big difference. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. And if you have any ideas of how you'd go from desk today, I'd love to know in the comment section as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.